Well, right now, the United States is by far the world's top funder of the World Health Organization. We give the organization about $58 million every year. That's double what any other country donates for some reason. But for the organization's leaders, there's only one country that matters, and it's not us. It's China. Right now, Taiwan is battling coronavirus, but they are denied membership in the World Health Organization. They can't even have observer status. Why is that? People are dying, but the World Health Organization refuses to protect them. Why do you think that is? Because China objects to anyone acknowledging that Taiwan is a nation. From the beginning, World Health Organization officials have praised China's response to coronavirus. They've repeated the country's lies as facts to the rest of the world. Initially, China claimed that the coronavirus could not be transmitted from person to person, even though doctors in Wuhan knew otherwise, and it was obviously untrue. The World Health Organization, though, told that lie to the world, and that hindered global preparation to contain the virus. They made it worse, not better. And then the World Health Organization praised China for its transparency, a cruel joke. As those lies have been exposed, the World Health Organization's subservience to their masters in Beijing has only become more obvious, more naked. On Saturday, a Hong Kong television station aired an interview with the World Health Organization assistant director called Bruce Alward. He's a Canadian. We want to show you this whole thing. We hope you'll watch carefully because it tells you everything about where this world is going and why you should be really nervous about the government of China. Watch this. Would the WHO consider Taiwan's membership? Hello? Wait, was it, was it? I couldn't hear your question. Okay, yeah, let me, let, let me, let me repeat the question. No, that's so, okay. let, let's move to another one then. Right, because, because I'm, I'm actually curious on talking about Taiwan as well, on Taiwan's case. We decided to give Dr. Alward another call to follow up. And I just want to see if you can comment a bit on how Taiwan has done so far in terms of containing the virus. Well, we, we've already talked about China. And, um, you know, when you look across all the different areas of, uh, of China, they've actually all done quite a good job. So with that, I'd like to thank you very much for inviting us to participate. And, uh, and good luck as you go forward with the battle in Hong Kong. In the middle of a global pandemic, they're refusing to help a country because China told them not to. And then the World Health Organization, which represents all of us, which we pay for more than any other country, is boldly, without shame, repeating Chinese government propaganda. The man you just saw, Bruce Alward, by the way, wasn't just caught in a bad moment over Skype. Here's another clip of him sucking up to the government of China. To the people of Wuhan, uh, it is recognized that the world's in your debt, and uh, when this disease finishes, hopefully we'll have a chance to thank the people of Wuhan for the role that they've played in it.